Well, welcome back. This is part two of the uh, transmission swap on the uh, uh, 2010 Kia Soul. Uh, my goal for today is uh, I'm going to drain the uh, uh, transmission and uh, jack up the car, get the uh, CV axles out on both sides and get to that point. Uh, in the service manual, they have you doing some steps, and I went and read through them, and uh, to me, they, they got some of it backwards. And so, like I said, one of the things that they had was one of the last things you did after you basically unbolted the transmission out of the car was to drain the fluid. Uh, now, you got to drain the fluid first, uh, otherwise you're going to end up with a mess. So, anyway, that's, that's the goal for today, okay, at least get that far. Uh, Still waiting on the other transmission. They never showed up the other day. I uh, called them yesterday. They're supposed to be here today with it. So we'll just see. So anyway, I'm going to get set up here in a minute and start uh, tearing this thing apart. Okay, I'm getting ready to pull out the CV axle on the driver's side. I already pulled the one out on the passenger side. It's a little bit longer. I had I didn't film it because I had to actually lay under the car and uh, hold the uh, puller and, uh, and stuff. This was a lot easier to, to see. What I ended up getting was uh, this puller adapter. Uh, CV adapter right here. It's a CTA part number 1040 and I'll put a link to where you can get it in the uh, comments below. I also bought this extension uh, to go on a slide hammer and I have a slide hammer that I bought. I decided I'd just go ahead and get it on myself. So basically screw all this together and then I got to see about getting up in there and getting this on there. But this, this part right here, that CTA part number 1040, is the one that fits the Kia Souls, uh, at least the 2010, 2011, I don't know of. They say it's also for Ford. Uh, which Fords, I don't know. But uh, 
There's the other one out there that a lot of places have. It will not fit. Can you give me the flashlight so I can see up in the room? Well, I got one right here, but I don't know if it'll... They are. Alright, I gotta get around here in front of this thing, so it might be blocked for a minute. Here we go. It's out. All right, so other than having to do a little fussing around up in there to get it held in behind, because it's got to go back and fit right around here. This edge is where it fits. And, uh, but once I got it in there and then screwed the other end, you see it just took a, a slight tap and it popped it right out of there. So, I mean, you can, sit there and fight it with uh, pry bars and stuff. This side you want, you can't get a, anything into pry. It's, it's impossible. Uh, there's no access to get in there to pry it. So you'd have to try to wrap a chain and all that kind of stuff or totally disintegrate the CB joint apart and put those vice grip clamps with the puller on it. Uh, that little adapter that went on there was like uh, 25, 26 bucks, something like that. Uh, the extension was more, it was around $30. Now, if you were on the cheap, you could go buy some 5 8 all thread with 5 8 16, uh, as 5 8 18 pitch uh, threads, all thread, and some rod couplings and make your own extension however long you wanted it. Uh, I don't know if it'd be cheaper than buying an extension or not. So anyway, I got all that out. So now, uh, next on the agenda under under the car is there's a, a, a roll uh, mount. It keeps the engine from torque and rolling. And I have to take that out of there. And then it's... Uh, get the starter out and a few other things and see what it's going to take to get the transmission dropped out the bottom.